GMA investigates undercover inside a new car dealership. This salesman named Arnie is selling us a nearly $50,000 truck, which is under recall for a potentially dangerous defect. Our undercover producer, Jerry, giving Arnie the down payment. 10, yeah, 2,000. Here's what we're trying to find out. Will a brand new vehicle be sold to us with an open safety recall? For used cars, buyers are usually on the hook, expected to do their own homework. But for new cars, the vehicles are supposed to be sold free of defects. The dealer not fixing it is against the law. During our investigation, we visit multiple dealerships in two states, New Jersey and New York, asking about cars with recalls. Some salesmen find those defects. Thanks. Appreciate it. But let's go back to Hawthorne, New Jersey, where we've identified a Chevy Silverado we know has an open safety recall. Some vehicles like this truck can unexpectedly lose power on the road. Is there any recalls or anything on this one? No. No. No? Absolutely not. If there's a recall, the dealership does, by law, have to fix it before it's in our hands. Four days later, Jerry now owns that brand new pickup. Then, using the truck's VIN number, we immediately check GM's website to see if the recall has been fixed. Here it is, recall status, incomplete. Arnie has some explaining to do. Hey, listen, you sold Jerry this car and you said that there were no recalls on it. But in fact, there are recalls on it. In there's, fact, a very serious one. There's a recall on this? Yes. Oh, I have to uh, check it out and see. I don't know. I wasn't aware. Remember, he said there was no recall. No. No. No? Absolutely not. I made a mistake. The dealership's president telling GMA Investigates, we have realized that our failure was tied exclusively to human error. From now on, we will be cross-checking serial numbers with our service records. But it's not only this dealership. We've uncovered hundreds of new cars from many manufacturers from around the country that were sold with unfixed safety recalls. And we're told that's just the tip of the iceberg. Incredibly, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, which is headquartered right here in the nation's capital, only fined two dealerships in 2014. Senator Ed Markey sits on the Senate Subcommittee on Consumer Protection. We found hundreds and hundreds of new cars that have recalls on them, and guess what? They were sold. Yeah, and, and that's wrong. You have to assume that when there's a brand new car with that new car smell in it, that there are no defects. NHTSA has 51 people on that enforcement team. We have a couple of producers looking at this. Why can't NHTSA do it? NHTSA should have done this work. It shouldn't take an investigation by ABC to find this problem. NHTSA is now put on notice that its job is to be the cop on the beat. And NHTSA declined to do an on-camera interview, but tells us there's no excuse for dealers to sell new cars with open recalls. The makers of our truck, GM, says they tell dealers not to sell cars with open recalls. Now, there are ways to check if your car is affected. You can use the My Carfax app or check the NHTSA database. We've posted links to those and others for you on our website, goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo. But remember, guys, these are brand new cars. You shouldn't have these issues. And, and right. they did fix it for free in your case, right? They did, and guess how long it took? Less than 20 minutes. I mean, wow. Well. Yeah. All right, Gio, thank it, you. Gio. Really, you are on it. And you can see more of Gio's report tonight on Nightline.